In this video, I'll show you exactly how to install Kali Linux using VirtualBox. First, you need to download two things, VirtualBox and Kali Linux ISO file. Open any browser and search for VirtualBox. Click the first link. Go to Downloads and under Platform Packages, choose your OS and download it. You can also download the extension pack. It helps with things like USB support and better display. Now open a new tab and go to Kali.org. Click the download button, scroll down and choose the installer image. This one allows full offline installation with customization. After downloading everything, go to your downloads folder and install VirtualBox. After that, install the extension pack. In VirtualBox, click on Expert Mode, click New, give your VM a name. Now select the ISO image we downloaded earlier. Choose Linux as the type and make sure the version is 64-bit. Give it at least 2 gigs of RAM and set processors to 2. For the hard disk, select create a virtual hard disk now and give it 50 gigs of space. Now go to settings, under general advanced set shared clipboard to bidirectional. Under display max out the video memory. Under network make sure adapter 1 is attached to NAT. This keeps your VM safe and isolated. Click ok and start the VM. When it boots, select Graphical Install. Choose your language, location and keyboard. Use default option unless you have a reason to change. Now set a host name. I'll just name it Kali. Enter a username and password. Make sure it's something you can remember. Then select your time zone. For partitioning, go with use entire disk. Continue through the prompts. It will ask for confirmation a few times. Now let the installation run. This might take 10 to 15 minutes.
When installation is done, Kali will ask to reboot. After reboot, login with your username and password. You will now see the Kali Linux desktop. To access tools, just click on the top left Kali menu. If you want to change the wallpaper, right click the desktop, go to desktop setting and pick a new one. Open the terminal. Use who am I command to check your username. Use ls command to list the files and folders in your current directory. Use ipa command to check your IP address. If you need to pause your session, press right control plus Q and save the machine state. Next time you boot up, you will be right where you left off. To enter and exit full screen, press right control plus F. To shut down Kali, you can either shut it down from inside Linux or press right control plus Q and power it off. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for more Linux and hacking stuff.